today's Tombstone Tuesday, we travel to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and the grave of General Philemon Thomas, the military commander of the Republic of West Florida. Born on February 9, 1763, in Orange County, Virginia, Thomas served in the Revolutionary War as a young man before moving west to Kentucky. He was a member of the Kentucky Constitutional Convention and was elected to both the House and Senate there before moving down to the West Florida parishes of Spanish Louisiana in 1806. Four years later, he joined a group of other Americans in starting a revolution and declaring the independence of the Republic of West Florida. Today, St. Francisville, Louisiana was their national capital. It was here that they raised a blue flag with a single white star. Many know it today as the Bonnie Blue Flag that bears a single star. Thomas, due to his prior military experience, was named the Commanding General of the West Florida Army. On the morning of September 23, 1810, General Thomas and his army stormed Fort San Carlos at Baton Rouge. The fort stood adjacent to the historic Pentagon Barracks, which were later built by the United States Army. The Spanish fort was captured and the new republic became very real. Plans were laid for the taking of Mobile and Pensacola as well, as leaders of the republic dreamed of driving Spain from all of West Florida between the Mississippi and Apalachicola rivers. The planned attacks never occurred though, and there was resistance to the rebellion on the part of some pro-Spanish citizens. Thomas left a legacy of bitterness among some by violently suppressing opposition to the Republic of West Florida. The dream of a new country ended after 74 days when U.S. troops entered the region and occupied the fort at Baton Rouge on December 10, 1810. The flag of West Florida was saluted and lowered for the last time at 2.30 that afternoon. Philemon Thomas served as a major general of Louisiana militia during the War of 1812 and in the United States Congress from 1831 to 1835. He died in Baton Rouge on November 18, 1847. The General of the Army of the Republic of West Florida rests today at the National Cemetery in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. With this edition of Tombstone Tuesday, I'm Dale Cox for 2 Egg TV.